<laughs> so that day, um, he brought my car to me Wednesday. So keep in mind, he got killed at 4.08 a.m. on Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. And so Wednesday about noon, he brought me my car. That's how he ended up in the cousin's vehicle because I needed to use my car for something. And we sat in the yard for about 30 minutes hugging, looking up in the sky. Wow. And Snoop told, we were just talking, and I don't remember the details, but what stuck out to me was he said, Mama, you're going to go. He said, and you're going to spend thousands of dollars. He said, and people are going to change on you, Mama. He was preparing you. And, and that's he, what he said. He told me, he said, it's not the people with the money that's going to change. It's going to be the people without, without the, the money, money that's going to change. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. So now you get to the police station. What do, what do they say to you? What what are they saying? I don't remember details. Of they don't really. They, they ain't talk. You know, they don't really. They ain't know. Because how is the Louisiana justice system? Man, Let's be real. I would just tell anybody, stay out of Louisiana if you plan on getting in trouble. That's not the place. Um, what I, my, I think my frustration comes from the police, um, the chief telling me, like, trying to assure me he's going to do the best he can do. Mm. I think that's the first, because you sat in my face, and I think the worst thing anybody can do to Denisha is play on my intelligence. Right. And so, you know, he was, I'm going to dot my T's, cross my eyes, make this and that. So when results start happening, I was on him. Like, you you, you know, lied. you lied to me. Even to this day, I don't even look at him because you. this was my son's life. Like, y'all play with this. And then the thing about it was, he wasn't even relevant when we were going to court. When the guy did get the time, I made him relevant. I, I did a wow. video and made them play his video because this wasn't no drug deal gone bad situation. And I think that's what they tried to paint the narrative because mm -hmm. the police um, told me, he said, no, the district attorney said, well, you know your son had marijuana and pimentazine in his system. I said, did that kill him? Mm. He said, no. I said, well, don't mention that to me. Wow. Right. That's crazy. Before this happened, uh, what when was the last time that you spoke to Snoop before that? that um, well, and that, what was that conversation like? Let me tell you. So that day, um, he brought my car to me Wednesday. So keep in mind, he got killed at four oh eight a.m. on Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. And so Wednesday about noon, he brought me my car. That's how he ended up in the cousin's vehicle because I needed to use my car for something. And we sat in the yard for about 30 minutes hugging, looking up in the sky. Wow. And Snoop told, we were just talking, and I don't remember the details, but what stuck out to me was he said, Mama, you're going to go. He said, and you're going to spend thousands of dollars. He said, and people are going to change on you, Mama. He was preparing you. And, and that's he, what he said. He told me, he said, it's not the people... With the money that's going to change, it's going to be the people yeah, without, without the, the money. money that's going to change. And, and the reason friends. why that hurt is because that was so true. It happened. And it happened. And so we talked and talked and talked. And um, he took my charger. And then I called him again. No. Okay. So then, because I was supposed to go find like a double. He wanted to buy a mobile home just to have. He said, we're going to buy this mobile home and buy some land. So whenever we want to come back to Louisiana, we have somewhere to stay. Right. Mm -hmm. And so he told me to go shopping for one. I said, what's the budget? He said, about 50000 I said, okay. So I go and I find a nice one, like mm -hmm. sixty nine. you know. And by the time you do this and that, they was going to knock off. So it was going to be pretty good. So I called him on my way back. That had to be about three. Um, and he said, Mama, I don't know what type of trailer you went and looked at. He said, <laughs> he said my grandmother didn't pay that much for her. She paid about seven to 10000 He said, that's what we need to do. And then we just going to put about 50000 worth of work into it. Mm -hmm. And I said, what? I said, boy, you know what? You go look for what you want to look for. Because that just didn't make sense to yeah. me. And we hung up. And then I called him again about 7.30 because he was getting ready to go on a trip and meet up with Meek Neal. Okay. And so I let him know. You don't have to buy your hygiene stuff. I already got it. Yeah. But when I called him, the killer answered. Okay. And he said Snoop wanted him to answer to see what I wanted. And I said, he said he's playing the game. So I know if you're playing the game, you're gambling. So I said, okay, well, just tell him to call me back. And, and that, that, was, that, was, that was it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.